What's going on guys? I'm with the Moose and today I'm bringing back a fan favorite. It started in Madden 25, continued last year in Mutt 15, and it's continuing now in Madden 16 Ultimate Team as well. And it is of course the Bundle Bunch. I did it for a while uh, last year and the year before and you guys always seem to enjoy it. And this time I'm you know revamping it even more and making it even better with some new rules. And of course I'd always love to hear your feedback. Give me new rules. Give me things that I should you know work on in terms of the series and make it an overall viewer friendly and a very fun experience. And so the bundle bunch is obviously the name of it in the past what we used to do is open a 15 pro pack bundle and then go from there this time it's going to be a little bit different so let's get into exactly how we're going to construct this team because we definitely need some players given the fact that we have nobody on the squad right now so like I mentioned before, I'm going to be opening up some pro packs and other things like that. Of course, I got to. I got to, you know, build up the team. So the first thing that I'm going to do is open 14 pro packs. Now, in the past, like I mentioned, it was 15 pro packs, but we do have a little bit of a twist. So 14 pro packs, obviously going to use all the golds, hopefully get a few elites here and there um, on the team. And then the silvers, bronzes, and the team items, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I can use those to make my team even better and hopefully build a really, you know, competitive head-to-head -head squad. But let's get into actually how the final pack is going to be opened. After opening up with a 14 pro pack scene, what we get and everything like that, we are going to come over here to the vault and open a wheel of packs pack. It gives you, um, you know, anything, any random pack, hopefully not a pro veteran, all pro, all Madden, legends, game changer, X factor, or ultimate. So obviously the ones you really want are, you know, legend, game changer, X factor, ultimate, but I would even take, you know, an all Madden, all pro, something like that. That's the final pack we are going to open. So we basically open up this pack, which gives us a random pack, one of those, like I mentioned, and then I open that pack and whatever I get in that, I use on my team and hopefully it's something good so that's what it's going to be it's going to be 14 pro packs and a wheel of packs pack to construct the initial squad and then once i get all the other players i have a way to make my team even better so in every single pro pack you're going to get basically two silvers and two bronzes in every single one so what i'm going to do with those cards are put them into these two sets right here the gold player upgrade and the silver player upgrade now i probably won't use this much past the first few games once i build up a decent squad of mostly golds and hopefully a few elites um, but I will use it probably at the very beginning just to get rid of some bronzes. But then right here, the gold player upgrade set is going to be very important. When I have silvers that I don't need, you know, low silvers, I'm going to throw it in this set and hopefully get some good golds. You can even get elites from this pack, so you never know. Because um, for, for the most part, at least for the first season or two, it's probably going to be mostly a gold team. So this set is going to be very, very helpful for me. If I open 14 pro packs, you're pretty much going to get this set done two, maybe three, maybe even four times if I get lucky enough. So this set will be very key to improving the team with those extra you know, miscellaneous cards that I don't really need, but uh, I'm going to get in the pro packs anyway. Now, of course, this is a head-to-head -head series, so this is what we're going to be doing. We're starting from the bottom. This is a new account, a different account than my main one, and we are going to be starting from the bottom in rookie second tier and hopefully working our way all the way up to maybe even all mad and who knows we'll see if the team's going to be good enough to do just that we'll um obviously like i said we'll see so for each win individual win that i get within a season i'm going to get one pro pack so that's basically a standard thing it doesn't matter if i beat them by 100 doesn't matter if i beat them by one i'm going to get one pro pack for a victory and obviously nothing for losing so it very much incentivizes me winning the game so i can actually improve my team a little bit now for each playoff win so obviously, if I make the playoffs, um, of course, I'm only going to count this after the actual wild card game. So hopefully I can clinch a first round by. If I do that, I'll skip the wild card game. And then I have three games in the playoffs. So for each game, you know, the, the uh, divisional game, the conference championship game, and the Super Bowl, I will, for each of those games, if I were to win them all, I would get one Wheel of Packs pack for each of those wins. And then if we do win the Super Bowl on top of the Wheel of Packs pack that I get, I'm going to get five pro packs and then also two additional Wheel of Packs. So if I were to win the Super Bowl for that game, I will get five pro packs and three Wheel of Packs packs, which should be crazy. Hopefully we get some good stuff. Maybe we clutch out an ultimate pack or game changer or something like that. That would be really cool. But that is how I'm going to improve the team, at least as of now. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments down below. Basically, the you know the way I improve my team after this initial opening that I'm going to do in a little bit is getting wins in the regular season for one pro pack, uh, winning in the playoffs for a Wheel of Packs pack in the playoffs, and then winning the Super Bowl, which gives me a huge reward of five pros and two Wheel of Packs packs. So... Like I said, let me know what you think of it down in the comments down below, but without further ado, let's get the team started and open some pros. Here we are on the pro pack. Real quick, I did want to mention that for my uniforms and coach and uh, playbooks and things like that, I'm just going to use whatever the first one I get. So if I only get an offensive playbook in this pro pack, that's the offensive playbook I'm going to rock with at least for this entire season um, until we go on a little bit further. And maybe, you know, I hate it so much that I got to change it, but I think that's my plan right now. It allows me to use some different guys and some different uh, schemes and things like that. So. Let's see who we're going to get. Nothing crazy right now. We did get the Dolphins home uni. 
coach New England. So those are the two things we're going to be using so far. Cowboys Stadium, I guess that's going to be our home turf. Anything else? Got an Arthur Jones, so that's probably not too bad. He'll probably be a starter, at least for you know maybe a season or two. Got the Titans offense. That'll be our offensive playbook. And who's our gold card? We get a Kendall Wright, so a decent wide receiver right here. 82 overall. Looks like he's got 90 speed. That's not too bad. 90 jumping. Looks like a decent card. Should be a good wide receiver one or two. Um, and that will be what we have. So let's equip these real quick. Everything else I'll probably just put in later. Um, but I want to make sure I don't forget which uh, you know team items I got. Because that is for sure something I could forget in my binder or whatever. Coach New England. And then the Dolphins home uni. So I believe we need an away uniform and a defensive playbook. And then I think we're set on team items. So hopefully we can get those in the next couple packs. But that is pack number one. And like I said, hopefully we can improve and get some elites even. That would be very, very nice. So first here, 49ers defense. There we go. We finally got a defensive playbook. Well, finally. What am I saying? There's a second pack. Got a Javier Arenas. Decent corner, I suppose. Anybody else? Anything else? Got a Taylor Lewan left tackle. At least we get somebody for the blind side. That's not too bad. Um, you know, I can't be too upset about that. Looks like, what is he rocking with? 91 run block, 84 pass, 85 impact. That's not a bad card at all. I am actually pretty impressed by that. I'm not going to lie. Uh, also with 90 strength. So that's not a bad card whatsoever. Definitely think he's better than a 78 overall. So I'm pretty happy about that. Already had an away uniform and a coach. So let's equip this defense. And all we need now is a home uni. So we'll see what we can get. And like I mentioned, I'm going to upgrade the team. Or not upgrade the team, but you know, update the team at the end of the video. And you guys will see exactly who's on my starting roster. But this is pack number three. First off, we get a Dwight Lowry. We'll take a look at him in just a sec. Can we clutch anything else out? They get a 49ers offense, but we need a defensive playbook. And that will do it here. I did get a Sylvester Williams DT, but who knows? I mean, the, the only silvers that I really care about right now are the, you know, decent silvers that I might actually have to use. We'll see. The, oh, this is not a good card. Dwight Lowry, very slow. 89 Excel is okay. Everything else, though, not very good. So hopefully I can get a better free safety. But honestly, any gold is better than a uh, silver at this point for the most part. So just, uh, you know, hopefully we can get some elites and things like that, like I mentioned. But we'll see. Uh, Packers away. Still need a home uni. I don't know where those are at. Uh, Lions offense, Jesse James, you got a George Wynn. Also, let me know if you guys see any, you know, budget beasts in here, maybe bronze or silver monsters that I don't know about. Let me know right here. We get a Allen Robinson. All right, that's a decent pull. He's six foot three, kind of slow at 85, but overall pretty good catching stats and actually not a bad card at all. I would like some different positions because I already did get um, another wide receiver. I honestly forget what his name was, um, but I already have, you know, two receivers now, so hopefully no more receivers. At least as of now, because that would be, you know, maybe a little bit rough. Right here we get a Buccaneers offense. Still need that uh, home uni. Right here we get a Sam Coke. All right, so we did get a punter. That's pretty interesting. If he sells for a ton, I'll probably just sell him because punters don't really matter. But over otherwise, I'll keep him and use him as the punter on the team. Got a Clive Walford. And right here we get a Darren Fells, who's actually not too bad. And we finally got a home uni. Finally got the Colts uni uh, as our home uniform. So that's not too bad at all. Darren Fells, pretty solid. Happy about that. And uh, let's see what he's looking like here. Uh, 79 speed, so very slow. But decent run block at 78 and everything else not too bad. So I'm pretty happy about that. That was not terrible. And we are on to, our, I believe, our sixth pack. Of course, I'll make sure before I you know, go over the limit or anything like that. I believe this is our sixth pack. And let's hop into it. What are we going to get? Coney Ely right there. Mike McCarthy. We get a Delaney Walker. All right, that's actually a very good tight end. Um, of course, we just got Darren Fells, so that kind of sucks. Might you have to use one of them at fullback. I'm not opposed to doing that. Uh, but Delaney Walker, 85 speed, 81 run block. That's basically his calling card. And also, he's very good at uh, catching the ball. So that's a pretty good pull. But hopefully, like I mentioned, we can get some different players. I want a running back. I want a QB. I want like some linebackers, some corners, and things like that. That is definitely what we need. Right there, we got a Kai Forbath. He'll be our kicker as of right now. But hopefully, we can get somebody better than that. Anything else in this one? Got a Zach Streif, so another tackle. I'll take it. Hey, it's not a glamorous position, but it's always nice to have 91 pass block, 82 runs, 74 impacts, pretty low, but the other two stats aren't too bad. So I'm pretty happy about that one. Definitely not bad at all. Let's hop into another one, though, and see who we're going to get. This is our eighth pack, I believe, right here, and uh, we'll see what we can snag. Got a Justin Pugh. Ah, another right tackle, so don't need that. That's another thing. If I do get you know duplicates of positions, I should say, um, like I just got a right tackle and got another one right here, I'll probably throw him into the gold badge upgrade set and just get some more badges that will be used for the wheel of packs um, because this player you know Justin Pugh definitely not better than uh, the last guy I got Zach Streif so that probably will just be you know another card that will be thrown into a badge set to get some more badges for um, you know that uh, wheel of pack set so hopefully we can clutch out some elites where are they at right now come on I gotta get at least one elite on the team got an Eagles offense there don't care about the playbooks anymore. Elite, no. Greg Hardy, though, at least a decent right end. 
I'll take it from my Cowboys. 82 block shot, 94 power moves, very good actually. So I'm pretty happy about that. Finally got some defensive players, and hopefully we're on the way to improving the squad a little bit. All right, here we go. Six more packs to go, and then of course the Wheel of Packs pack at the very end. So we got a shot here. Actually, only five more packs, I should mention, because we're only doing 14 pro packs, not 15. Got to make sure I don't go over. Mike Neal right here. At least it's a right outside linebacker, although I do believe he's a blitzing right outside linebacker, if I remember correctly. Looks like 84 block shed, 91 excel. Not too bad. Actually, a pretty decent card. Pretty happy about that pull. Not, you know, nothing uh, too crazy, but I will certainly take it for sure. So uh, we got four more to go now. Come on, Odell. You got to pop out. Some elite has got to pop out. You got to think we got to get one, right? So let's hop into it, Pro Pack. We got four to go, uh, and hopefully something good pops out. No, Bruce Carter. At least it's a you know position we didn't have. But I do not like the you know construct of this team right now. 66 block shed. Wow. I'm not really sure. Is Bruce Carter more of a zone linebacker? I think he is. I honestly can't remember from his time in the Cowboys. I don't know why. But I think he was more of a zone guy. Yeah, 71 zone. So that's pretty decent for a card that's only 75 overall. That's not terrible. I usually do play zone with my linebackers. Um, so not awful, but definitely would have liked something a little bit better than that, uh, given you know that we haven't really gotten too much that's too crazy yet. So three more pro packs. Ah, oh, Quentin Demps right here. No, that is not good. And anything else, not looking you know like we got anything. So let's take a look at Quentin Demps. I believe we already did have a free safety. And Quentin Demps a little bit faster, 88 speed, 94 excel. It's pretty darn good, but not much else. So I'll make the determination, figure out who's better. And uh, hopefully we get at least a mild upgrade with one of those guys. But we only got two more pro packs and then the Wheel of Packs pack, which at this point we got to get an ultimate pack to save us a little bit. But let's get into it. Pro pack. Ah, Kawan Williams. At least it's a corner. I don't believe we had a gold corner yet, so I'll take that for sure. Kawan Williams. Is he good? Decent? Anything? 86 speed, 90 excel, 90 agility. 83 zone. That's not too bad. 89 man as well. This is actually not a bad card. Um, definitely not amazing. 63 press is definitely concerning, but... I will take it. That is not, you know, one of the worst things you could have gotten. But here we go. Final pro pack. I'm looking for a QB. That is the key right here. If I have to rock with like a silver quarterback, that would be a little bit disappointing. So let's get into it. Give me, you know, at least a gold quarterback. I'd love an elite one though. Who are we going to get here? And we get a Andrew Norwell. So at least it is a position that we didn't have left guard. I'll take it. 90 run block, 85 pass, 78 impact, a little bit low impact for me, but overall not terrible. And that's a decent card. So I'm pretty happy that at least we got a position that we did need, but that will do it for the pro packs let's hop on over to the wheel of packs pack and see what we're gonna get here it is guys the wheel of packs pack to remind you you could give you any pack throughout the entire game from as little as a pro pack which would just be devastating all the way up to an ultimate pack x factor pack game changer or legends something like that would be a fantastic pull but i'm at least hoping for an all pro pack at least give me an all pro that way i get at least three gold cards that is the goal of this Wheel of Packs pack. So let's see what we're going to get. I'm holding my arms up. I'm looking for something crazy. And we do get a Game Changer pack. That's very, very good. I'm very happy about that. We're guaranteed a gold badge, which will help us get another Wheel of Packs pack in the future whenever we get some more wins and whatnot. And they're also going to give me a ton of golds. If I remember correctly, I think it's 10 golds. So that is going to improve the squad a ton. And hopefully we can get at least a quarterback or a running back. That is the goal. That's one of the positions or two of the positions that I don't have anyone at right now. So... Game changer pack. That was a very good pull for that set. Very happy about that. Falcons home unit to start us off. Derek Carr. There we go. Got a quarterback and a decent one at that too. Justin Tuck as well. We'll take a look at these guys kind of individually. Derek Carr, decent speed at 81. Okay, throwing stats. Derek is too deep. Is terrible at 67, but I'll take it. Whoa, didn't mean to click him again. Meant to go over to Justin Tuck and see what he's looking like. Uh, 83 overall, I believe. Yeah, left end. Decent stats. 72 block shot. A little low for me, but hey, I'll take it. Got a Jordan Reed right here, another tight end. Don't need that. Buster Screen, I will take a, you know, corner. Doug Baldwin, don't really need another wide receiver. Hey, we got a Khalil Mack. That's a great pull. Great way to get an elite. Finally, Khalil Mack. Uh, you know, finally getting an elite. I'm crazy happy about that. Khalil Mack, great card. This card is a beast, too. 97 pursuit, 87 speed, 95 tackle. I'm very happy about that. He's going to lead the team, hopefully, and uh, bring us a championship, hopefully, this season. Also, Buster Screen, don't be uh, underestimating the fact that I got another corner because that's huge. Got a Roy Miller hit here. Somebody to stop the run. I like it. Trent Williams already have a left tackle, although he might be better than the guy I have. Uh, anybody else? Got a Chris Canty, another right end. Already have Greg Hardy. Got a Geno Atkins right here. Uh, you know, elite DT. Nothing too crazy, but hey, elites are always nice to see. And Geno Atkins, one of the better ones you can get. 84 block shed, 93 power move. Very solid card. 
anything else to get the gold badge. I believe we have one more gold pull. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's maybe I'm hyping this up for no reason. And yes, I was. It was just Levi Stadium. So that was actually a very good pack. They've got two elites, including Khalil Mack, who will definitely lead the charge for us. Doug Baldwin, Buster Screen, and uh, this is looking like pretty good. So I'm going to do a few of those gold upgrade sets, do those, and then update the team. And you guys will see exactly what we're starting with. All right, guys, here we are. We did three of the gold player packs. Of course, that required seven silver players. So that's basically how many I pulled. I pulled a few more, I think, but I saved, you know, a few of the 70 and 71 overall guys to be backups if I need that and maybe even starters if I have to do it. Hopefully, I don't have to, though. But gold player packs, I believe we're still looking for a starting running back. As of right now, it would be a silver or maybe even a bronze, which could be really bad. So gold player packs, we're looking for at least a running back. That would be great. Maybe some elites, that would be crazy too. We get a Rob Havenstein, already have like two right tackles. Don't really need this guy, although 95 run block, wow, that's really high. I'll make a decision on all those different guys, and you know, maybe somebody with a stat like that could start on my team, but gold player pack number two, who's it gonna be? We get an Alfonso Denard, I'll take it, Alfonso Denard, I believe is how you say it. Uh, I'm always happy with corners, decent card, 87 speed, you know, 88 excel, 88 agility. 79 man, 80 zone, not that great, but he'd probably be my slot corner, so I'm not too upset about it. And that's not terrible. But final gold player pack. Can we clutch out a running back? Is somebody good, maybe. Oh, we get an elite. Gio Bernard, perfect. There we go. That is a great pull. Awesome. I did not expect that at all. Gio Bernard, very, very good pull. I needed a running back. Wanted an elite. Got both. 89 speed. Could be a little bit better, but he does have 98 agility and 93 excel. 97 juke move. 90 elusiveness. This is a very good card. Only our third elite of the entire you know pack opening that we had up to now. So I'm very happy about that. He is going to lead the team on offense, but let's update the team and see where we're at, and I'll get it back at you guys in just a sec. Here we are after all that, 14 pro packs, the game changer pack out of the wheel of packs pack, and then three gold player packs. This is the team, only one elite on offense, going to be kind of tough, but we did get all golds basically throughout the entire squad, except for a couple. Did get three gold receivers. Obviously, Gio Bernard at the very end was very nice. Fullback, I just threw Darren Fells there. He fit more and has decent run block. Delaney Walker is perfect at tight end along with Jordan Reed backing him up. And then on the O-line, got pretty decently uh, right here. Trent Williams, Andrew Norwell, and Zach Streif. And then we did have to throw uh, Rob Havenstein, who actually is a right tackle to right guard. I didn't have any right guards. I think I had a couple bronze or whatever, but I'm really not trying to use a bronze when I could just use Havenstein, who uh, is very bad at right guard. But he does have a pretty good stat, so I threw him there. Hopefully, we can get a right guard soon enough. And then we actually got J.D. Walton, which isn't that bad center. Um, definitely not what we want, uh, but is decent enough, I guess. So that is the offense. Here is the defense. We got Dwight Lowry, Quentin Dempsey. We had to swing him over to strong safety. Did not get any strong safeties. Only a couple bronzes here and there. Khalil Max leading the charge on this. Obviously, no middle linebackers either. Um, got a couple bronzes, as always. But we threw Bruce Carter there. And then Mike Neal over to uh, left outside linebacker number one. Uh, might switch those up, but I kind of like Bruce here better because he has better speed and a little bit better zones, and I'm probably going to be using it for the most part, so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing here, but I might switch these guys. We'll see. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments down below. And then corners, we did get some pretty good corners. Uh, Kawan Williams, Buster Screen, and Alfonso Dennard. Always happy to see that. And then our D-line is actually pretty damn good. Greg Hardy, Geno Atkins, obviously an elite, always nice. Roy Miller, and then Justin Tuck, so not too bad there. And then over to specialists, just so you guys get an idea, we are using Sam Koch at punter, and then Kai Forbath, who only has 86 kick power. Going to be kind of tough with that. He's a kicker, and then our uh, you know kickoff and return specialist or whatever is uh, Travis Benjamin, who is our fourth wide receiver, very fast, 93 speed, and then Dwight Lowry. But for the most part, I'm going to be returning with Travis Benjamin. So that is the team. That is the bundle bunch this season. Hopefully, we can get some stuff done, get some victories, upgrade the team even more and uh, that is the goal so as always guys thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like down below and definitely let me know what you think of the series what you think i should do in terms of when i win when i win the super bowl things like that i of course set you know the, at least the first guidelines so far but uh, if you want to see those change definitely let me know in the comments down below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you later